guys how you guys doing it is thursday yeah it's thursday guys you guys hear how deep my voice is i'm like in baritone bass range right now um my body woke me up um i went to sleep like around seven eight nine ten eleven so four hours which is way better than i have been getting but i just need about that six seven eight hour life you know what i'm saying can i get there though but here's the thing my body knows i have so much to do i am leaving tonight slash tomorrow morning um i'm leaving two o'clock in the morning on friday I, you know it's funny how things work out i was literally at work and last night and i usually i get tired but i couldn't contain my like i couldn't keep my head up or my eyes open and I was just like, I don't know. It was like 4 o'clock. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make it these last few hours. Like, it was getting that difficult. I mean, the struggle was oh so real. The night was really slowing down for me. And my charge nurse ended up sending me home early. I think it's because it was my last night on our floor. Our floor stays busy. Wait, anyway, let me get my behind up and see how much cleaning I can get done. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Early, early, early. Friday morning and I'm getting ready to leave by the way Alice left she's not in town right now so I am here solo and I'm getting ready to leave town it's getting so crazy it's getting kind of real a little bit but not really let me show you guys my room that's what my room looks like completely empty these are the two things I wasn't able to sell but um, they'll just stay here until I'm able to sell them. This is going with me. This is my makeup case and my brush case on top of it. Um, but yeah, this is what everything looks like, guys. Look. These are the clothes that I'm donating, and I will donate them. I found an organization, Organizations for Abused Women, so I, I want to donate my clothes to them. Um, but this is like the little mat I was sleeping on <laughs> over the last few days when I sold my bed. When I tell you crazy so it's just weird it's just weird it's weird it's weird it's weird so I'm getting ready to leave guys and I know I previously told you guys that I was um, moving to dang this is heavy golly I know I previously told you guys that I was moving to um, out Atlanta and I am technically let me get me some Haitian bread but my job is that I got is actually in St. Louis. And so I'm going to St. Louis. Travel nursing is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And um, so I figured what better time than now. So basically, to explain, I will be what they um, call a travel nurse, going from city to city for a few weeks at a time, between two to 13 weeks. Um, and then, in between my assignments, I will call Atlanta home. So, I'm just putting some perfume on, guys. So that's what the plan is, guys, isn't that crazy? So my first stop is in St. Louis, Missouri, which is about six hours from here, about six hours from here. Um, but I have to make a stop at the Missouri uh, State Board of Nursing first to get my license situated for Missouri. So that's about two hours out of the way. So it's about eight, nine hours actually. About nine hours to Jefferson City from here. So that's where I'm headed to first, Jefferson City, then I'm headed to St. Louis. So let me get off here. I'll let you guys know when I'm like headed out the door and on the way. Hey guys, so I am on the road now well i've been on the road for a while but i couldn't take out the camera because it was still dark outside um it is a few minutes before seven o'clock and i'm in kentucky so i'm making good time yeah i might check on my sister once the hour isn't too disrespectful because you know it's still kind of early and um you know she was on a flight yesterday too so yeah guys i'm excited Try to stay awake. <laughs> Try not to speed too. That's the main thing. Guys, I am in Illinois now. <clears throat> I had to ask somebody to figure that out because I had no idea where I was. Well, I stopped at Burger King, not the best place, but I just wanted to stop somewhere that was going to give me some coffee because I'm getting really, 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 really tired now. 
So um, I am about a little under three hours away from my destination, about two hours and like third, maybe 40 minutes from my destination. So guys, I'm almost there. Alrighty, what's up loves? So I am officially licensed in the state of Missouri. Um, I went to, I went to Jefferson City where the State Board of Nursing is and um, turn on turn in all of my my current license blah blah money whatever and was issued a temporary license that's good for six months which is longer than my what my stay is going to be here you know pre presumably so yeah guys it's getting real it's getting real i'm finally finally here um i'm staying in the hampton inn downtown let's go to the bathroom first how do i turn on the light in the back okay there we go the bathroom is like huge. Look at that. It is huge. Moving on. I guess this is your little thing to put your bags on. At least that's what I did. You can see my purse, um, camera case, and my Bible back there. This is my king size bed desk I mean like a typical hotel let me show you guys my view the window is huge by the way look so I was really hoping that I would get a view of the arch just by accident even though I'm pretty sure you pay more for the view but that is okay coming out a little bright but yeah basically a view of downtown I am like super hungry. I really want to order in because I don't want to go out anymore. I'm just so, so tired. I've driven a total of like 11 and a half hours today. So I'm tired and you know, but I don't know. We'll see. I may feel like putting my makeup on, going out and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to go downstairs and get my laptop and stuff so I can have the vlog up on time this week. By the way, there's a mirror right here too. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead downstairs, get my laptop and a few more of my bags and get comfortable. All right people, so I went ahead and got me some dinner. Let me let that focus from this cute little restaurant downstairs. And I basically got a vegetable quesadilla with some bread pudding, which is like one of my favorite desserts. So let me show you guys. I decided to go ahead and just stay in for tonight. Get some schoolwork done because I'm extremely behind. So here's the quesadilla. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this is the bread pudding right here. And this is the ice cream that comes with the bread pudding. I got my laptop over here. And I'm probably going to move it over to the desk once I finish eating to get started on some schoolwork. Fun, fun, fun. Alright guys, um, it's time for bed. I knocked one assignment out so I'm kind of excited about that. Even though I'm way behind guys. I'm way, way, way behind. So... It's kind of making, like, depressing me just a little bit. I'm trying not to think about it, but I don't know. I may even have to withdraw from the class. I miss, like, mm, two or three good, good assignments, but I don't know. I'm going to email teacher tomorrow and see. It'll work out. It'll work out, whatever. Again, I'd, I would have liked to have a view of the arch, but um, I'm literally in the heart of downtown. Closing my drapes and heading to bed but anyway guys good night i'll see you guys in the morning guys i finally had sleep last night like i experienced what they call real sleep okay so i'm so excited about that but anyway <clears throat> i'm going to breakfast they do have complimentary continental breakfast here so um i'm gonna go down for breakfast um i am partially dressed not really though it's saturday morning so y'all know i'm gonna go to church but I just kind of threw on a dress really quick. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Just a dress really quick. You guys have seen this black dress before with the lace shoulders. Um, just uh, just to put on to go downstairs. And I partially did my face. I mean, I don't think I'm going to do much more than this, actually. It's kind of washing me out because the lights are really bright. But um, as you guys can see, I'm just all laid out right here. All laid out. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to go downstairs and get me some breakfast. Alright guys, so I'm back from breakfast. I'm just going to open up. I was going to stay down there, you know, but there was entirely too many people. And guys, I know this may come as a surprise, but I'm slightly antisocial. So when I see a lot of people like that, just like, oh, you know, plus I'm by myself, which I don't really care to eat by myself but I just didn't like the fact that 
there's just so many people. It looks like typical continental breakfast except for downstairs they had these omelets but I couldn't have them because they had meat in them. Now you guys know I don't eat pork at all. I don't even know what a pig tastes like, okay? So I really couldn't have that. And they had like onions and peppers and ham, all right? So I'm like, okay, so can you guys, so I asked them, you know, if they can make me my, you know, some without the ham. It costs too much per night for me not to be getting what I want, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, guys, so they made me a diff different option. But it's like weird because in a society where society as a whole is a lot more health conscious, different companies like that are trying to push toward healthier options because it's marketable because people are trying to make better decisions with their eating so I know tons of people that don't eat pork or don't eat red meat period not be for because of any religious affiliation but just because it's not good for you you know what I'm saying so like I don't know why would your only option be meat like they had meat omelets next to sausages I'm like could you have cheese omelets and then the sausages next to it that way they can add the sausages if they wanted it you know what I mean whatever so I'm gonna let me show you the omelets that they made for me there it is some toast and this was the womp womp waffle I rush because I want to get out of here maybe like around 10 30 so maybe like in an hour depending on how far the church is <laughs> church was good um I actually saw someone that I knew um and I, I guess I forgot that he would that he lived here or he was from here we used to sing with each other like way back way 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 back um and so he lives here and that was his home church so anyway there's a concert later and um so I may come back to it since I'm not really doing anything um you know this afternoon it's a f at five o'clock so it's really nice seeing him we exchange numbers um we were like we follow each other on instagram but we didn't have like you know what i'm saying like we didn't have each other's numbers or whatever so he said he lives in town small word right he said he lives in town so he says that you know that we should link up or whatever so that's cool oh and another person that i forgot that i knew was here until last night and I text him was, I'm a friend of mine, he's a photographer, um, I think I featured, some of my social media um, sites and, and pages have some of his work that he's done for me, um, he's a very talented photographer, and he lives out here, so um, I, I don't know how far or where he is exactly, but I did text him last night and give him a heads up that I was in town. Or whatever so um, for now I'm just gonna go back to see if I can find somewhere to eat um, like out or whatever but if I can't find that's like something that doesn't look decent and um, on the way then I'll just eat at that restaurant that I ate last night so I'm back in the room as you can see they cleaned it very nicely so we're excited about that oh one thing that I want to point out about this I'm actually really liking the Hampton there's a little note on your bed that says we not only clean your sheets but we clean the top cover I, th I think they said legally or I think I read that legally they only have to clean the top cover um, or the top blanket like every three months or something odd like that so ugh, nasty right but it's so good to know they clean everything they give you fresh everything not just your sheets so I feel safe I feel clean and all that anyway so I'm actually I was looking for this in my room and I found it. it was in this drawer right here of like the different things to do in this town um one of my co-workers Kim she said that you must go to the zoo they have like one of the amazing 
zoos ever like one of the amazing most amazing zoos right so i want to go there i think i want to go there tomorrow um and i really want to go to like um a local restaurant not like a franchise i see there's a bb's jazz blues and soup so it's like um a jazz nightclub slash restaurant with st louis style cuisine isn't that cool? And they have local talent, local stuff. I think that is really cool. I'll leave this hotel tomorrow um, and go to an extended stay till my apartment is ready. That is the plan, I think. Um, unless something else happens. I'm kind of living day by day right now. So that's the place that looks most attractive to me. Um, I don't know, but we'll have to see. So for now, I'm going to get dinner from downstairs, I think. Guys, I'm such a fatty McFat fat. So what I did was, I saw that they had a Jimmy John's in the area, which if you haven't been, you need to, okay? So I went and got me some, well, I had some Jimmy John's delivered and had them bring me some water. Because that's one thing I tend to do. I tend to get dehydrated when I travel um, or bloated. A lot of people, it happens to a lot of people. So I got their vegetarian stuff. No cucumbers, add onions, right? And some water. Um, and the reason why I got this because I knew I can cut it in half and eat half of it now and then half of it later because I, I did decide to stay in. And I'm going to go to the concert tonight, but then I'm going to stay in and do some schoolwork. Okay. I have three months to see the city. I might as well just spread it out, right? Then I got these Irish potatoes. Or they call them Irish potato wedges. And then some cheese dip. This is so freaking good. So I'm gonna eat half of my vegetarian sub and then I'm gonna eat. But what I realized is this vlog is kind of getting long. I'm gonna edit it down a little bit, but it's getting kind of long. I'm gonna end it here actually. So tonight I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna include tonight. Um, how we're gonna do this vlog thing with my sister is she's going to Dropbox me video clips and um, I'm gonna want I want to include her at least once a vlog but we're just kind of getting into the swing of things and she's out of town I'm out of town so we're just kind of getting settled but that's how probably how it would be because someone asked that um so I just wanted to answer that question and if you guys want to know anything just ask down below or whatever um I don't know if there's anything I'm forgetting to address the next time you see me I'll be adjusted into my um new apartment like I said usually all this my phone is going off in the bathroom usually all this would have been already taken care of because such short notice so i wanted to stay downtown and so i'm covering the charges or the cost for this stay but um i'm going to move into a, an extended stay which my company will be covering and um yeah we're gonna that is so good it's probably because it's deep fried everything deep fried is good but yeah guys one thing I want to say is um, do what you want to do. You know, life is too short. See the world, travel. Don't be so just stuck in your bubble. You know what I mean? In the comfort of your parents, in the comfort of your own city, in the comfort of your birthplace or your culture. Um, move. <laughs> experience live so st louis is the move that was quick <laughs> that was quick <laughs> very fast how long have you been there this thing it's funny i sent a mass text to my friends i'm terrible i sent a mass text to my friend um all my friends, I'm sorry. I was reading, so I paid attention. So all my friends saying that I was here. I didn't get to say goodbye to anyone. I'm horrible, right? I didn't really get to talk because people will have questions, you know. I didn't get to talk to anybody, tell anybody. So I sent a mass text once I hit Jefferson City to everybody. Um, some people knew that travel nursing was on, you know, was being thought about. But they didn't know when it was going to happen or if I'm or if I'm just talking to talk. Because some people do that. They talk to talk. Um, but when I, typically when I say I'm going to do something... I'm going to do it. If I'm think if I'm seriously thinking about something, I'm seriously considering it. So I told everybody I'll be back in three weeks um, to Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, the city that the Rocket City, the city that brought you. Um, what's that dude's name? The Hydra, Hydra kids, Hydra wife's dude. Yeah, Huntsville brought you that. The projects of Huntsville brought you that phrase. Hydra kids, Hydra wives, right? So I'm about to text my girl back. Um, she actually lives in Atlanta. Um, but I just saw her two weeks ago and she was just, you know, we were talking about, you know, what's going to happen and what's, you know, the future. And so I know 
from that conversation, I know she's just like, what, what? Because at that time I hadn't signed my contract, so I didn't know where I was going. That's so much for y'all um, today is uh, live life experience. I'm not saying, not everybody can get up and move to a city and live in a city every few months. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying to live experience just as much. If you work hard, if you're a hard worker like I am, make sure you play just as hard. Make sure you experience life, travel, meet new people. Don't be so, you know, locked into your way of life, your way of thinking. Um, you know, morally, you know, they're Morally, I still feel like there are obsolete boundaries, but at the same time, you can experience, for some reason, people feel like, you know, and I heard Bronze Goddess say this, that being a Christian is boring, and I hope by the way I live, you guys kind of see that it's not. I know sometimes I have to be boring because of school, but um, you don't have to live a mundane life. You don't have to live the life everybody else wants you to, or any life, any life that looks like somebody else um don't just talk about it be about it anyway guys i'm gonna finish eating this because this is like bomb.com amazing.org so i'm gonna do that and just chill enjoy the scenery while i have it it's my last night here in this um hotel anyway anyway guys i love you guys for supporting me and you guys are great but y'all already knew that right i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time in another video and as always god bless